welcome and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is jada so in today's video we're just gonna do a very quick life update i haven't sat down and spoken to you guys in a while so i just thought that it would be fitting for us to sit down and just have a quick chit chat about what's life been like and what's been happening so the first thing that i wanted to share with you guys is just to firstly say thank you guys so much for all the love and the support on the channel we're almost at 5k and i honestly couldn't be more proud of myself and more grateful to you guys for sticking along with me on this journey um i initially started by sharing my organ donation journey and my home ownership journey and since then we've traveled to so many different countries we've indulged in so many different cultures and we've really created a community here so thank you guys so much for all the love and all of the support thus far the first life update well not really life update but the first dilemma that i've been dealing with over the last couple of months is that i'm currently within the last semester within my apprenticeship and that basically means that not only do i have a lot of work and coursework to submit but i also need to make a decision as to whether i'm going to continue on this course that i am on for all those of you that are new i'm doing an improvement practitioner apprenticeship which basically encompass project management change management um, measurements and analysis and a host of other different modules and i do have a passion for project management so i'm trying to make a decision to see if whether i defer from what i'm doing now obviously completing the full improvement practitioner apprenticeship i'm not sure if i should let my second year of my uni experience be that of project management or if i should continue on improvement practitioner or if i should just fully drop not drop out but fully take a gap year have a lot of time to think about it and then come back to the situation with a new mind and fresh eyes so i don't know i don't know i'm gonna feel like say i'm definitely not supposed to take the gap year because opportunity don't come twice and at the end of the day i'm not funding this this is all because of my organization and all of because of the career journey and development that i've had over the past couple of years so i definitely no one drop out i defer it more continue for my education but i just don't know if i'm supposed to do the improvement practitioner or if i must do project management i feel like project management i win right now because it have more scope in terms of when you're finishing there's a lot that you can do with the degree so you can flip and flop it and use it in a lot of different sectors or you can actually still carry on on the project management route and become a program manager and that department is extremely lucrative so it's something to think about something that i'm still thinking and praying about so fingers crossed once i come to that decision i'll obviously share it with you guys and another thing that you guys keep commenting and asking while we're speaking about university and the whole experience is how do i balance it all if i'm being completely honest sometimes I have university as a priority sometimes my work life becomes a priority because of the change in dynamics and sometimes travel is my priority because that's what truly fulfill me because because that's what truly fulfills me and that's when i feel most at myself and most at peace so to be completely honest it just depends what season i'm in so i try to do a lot of pre-planning as much as possible so whenever i know that it's going to be busy at work i make sure that i do my reflective vlogs way ahead of the due date i just reprioritize my own personal life and i just start to do it within my own time so now that i'm within the last semester at school it's definitely crunch time i have a lot of independent studying and learning to do ahead of my assessment so at the moment i don't have any travel on the horizon so it's just a constant system of prioritizing and reprioritizing the different hats that i'm currently wearing so there isn't one set way that I can share with you guys as to how to balance it, but I do have tools that I use. One of them is definitely time management and keeping a log of everything. So all the actions that I need to complete at work, all of the coaching sessions that I have with my coach is documenting so that I'm always assured and I'm always informed about what the next steps are. And through that, I can properly tailor my capacity and know what needs more attention versus what can kind of go on the back burner. And since you guys have been here for a while, you guys must know that YouTube have been on the back burner for the past year. I know I come on here and I talk a lot about being consistent and being everything else. But the real reality is that I am in higher education. I'm currently pursuing my degree 
in project management i work full-time as a senior project officer i land manage at times i prioritize travel and i try to make sure that i leave the country at least every six weeks and of course i have a personal life i do charitable work where i'm a part of the black living donor choir so all in all i don't do all of this on my own it's through the strength of god that i'm able to perform all of these various tasks and i try to do it to the best of my ability so that's work life um and somewhat travel done speaking about travel like i said i don't have any trip on the horizon but i do want to go back home i i i i i desperately want to go home for christmas to see my family there's so much happening at home the new generation is currently forming as we speak so many babies so many celebrations that i've missed out on for all the year 2023 so i'm hoping fingers crossed god's willing that i'm able to take a trip back to jamaica but other than that i don't have any other trip planned if anything does seep in i will definitely take you guys with me but it will more than likely be a city trip and you guys also know that my brother is here with me from jamaica so we've been spending a lot of time together learning each other and just enjoying life day by day i have got a lot of classes that i've committed to that should take us through this fall to winter period i do want to get back onto pole dancing i'm hoping to start next year latest but don't i'm hoping to start again next year latest i just want to finish this semester and wrap it all up before i had before i add anything you know before i add anything else on my plate and pole is something that i definitely enjoy it takes my mind off the world and off all the chaos that's happening around us and after all it is a sport it is something that definitely keeps you active so i want to get back into it but it is costly and it does take a lot of time to practice as well as to recover from all the injury and all of the the pole and stuff so it's on the agenda it's just not imminent and it's not something that needs to happen now or tomorrow for that instance but other than that guys i don't really have much to update you on like nothing new is happening and i hope you guys like the new intro and outro on the channel i've definitely tried to add a bit more spark and just keep i've definitely just tried to add a bit more spark to the channel to just keep things alive and if you guys aren't following me on social media make sure that you follow me at jayla talks on all platform on all platforms and then the last thing that i just wanted us to chit chat about is um it's officially been a year since i gave my life to christ and it's still one of the best decisions that i've ever made in this lifetime and it's something that i would highly recommend every person especially if you're young and you think that actually i need to have this before i do that or things need to happen in this time frame or in this sequence do seek out the lord because we all struggle with so much because within this generation we all sub struggle with so much anxiety and so many things that are yet to be diagnosed that the only true peace that can come is from jesus christ himself i'm experienced from someone that used to suffer with really bad anxiety honestly i've never been this peaceful i've never been this calm in my entire life and i was reflecting the other day and when i was at one of the worst points in my life i had everything going on for me as in materialistically i had the business I had the high-rise apartment, I had the career, I had the whole shebang and, and I was living outside of Christ. I still believed in God obviously but I didn't give my life to Christ at that, that point versus my current situation now where I wouldn't say I have everything materialistically and some of it is by choice and all of it, some of it is just through life happening. I am at most peace, I'm most fulfilled now so all of these different things that we tend to seek when we're young, the the financial stability the this the that like i think in compare to the love and the peace that you find with jesus christ and if i must say this myself i must admit that i'm so proud of myself there's been many a time where i've faltered but every single time every single time that i fall i always remember to pick myself up and god has always been there with me to guide me through it all and i always go back and seek him and one of the ways in which i've been doing that is that i am a part of a bible study group so one thing that I realized when I got saved was that I have friends that are within the word of Jesus Christ and I have friends that are outside and someone that, that wants and as someone that wants to develop and grow within the word and the spirit of the Lord, it was essential that I went outside of my comfort zone and um I nurtured my spirits by going into these different environments to truly understand 
what is true and what is not true and really understand god for myself so i've been trying to foster different communities and different safe places where i can explore myself and explore the love of the lord so i've been going virtually to this bible when i go to two i go to one that's a new testament church one that's hosted by a new testament church and then i go to another one where i'm a lot more interactive and i actually get to facilitate well-being sessions and we have check in with one with one another and it is a group of young people so we do get the opportunity to correct each other and almost steer each other in the right direction and we have references we use the bible so it's a great environment it's been working for me i could do a lot more there's always room for improvement i do want to do a lot more independent bible study but once i get to that bridge i'll cross it and i'll try my best to share information with you guys i don't have much else to say other than god is good life is great um and yeah. if this video was the first time you've seen me welcome to my channel thank you so much for stopping by please make sure to subscribe share this with anyone that you think will find the content and information useful and i'll see you guys in the next vlog bye <laughs>